Kurt, how, you, how does that feel for you guys? Yeah, look... It, it was a bold play and credit to the Giants for helping us get it done. Um, we saw the opportunity. We probably started to think three or four days ago it was maybe a chance. So the guys did a lot of preparation with scenarios to be able to do it. It was probably pretty bold and something we didn't really factor in three or four days ago, but the opportunity was just too good. And that's the great thing about trading on the night and future trading is when these opportunities present, you've just got to be ready. and. Uh, we're just so pleased to have him at the club. Like he's, he's got a lot of what we need. So um, it was a great opportunity, a bold play, and it worked for us, which was great. They, yeah, I spoke to him earlier when he was up here, and he said that you guys were talking to him even today and it's about you know different bits and pieces. What was the late, what was behind the late interest? Was it the fact that he thought he was going to? Well, it wasn't late interest. Like we interviewed him in March when we had the camp in um, in Fremantle. The guy spoke to him then when uh, we were on the camp. So. He was always a player who we rated highly and even from last year that we knew, you know, was probably going to be out of our reach, but we're able to manipulate some picks and still stay in the draft, which is a really good thing and to, to get Charlie and uh, Oscar as well. That worked out really well for us. So they were two players that we rated really highly as well. So um, it was a pretty good night. Just in those talks with GWS, how quickly did you have to move and, and how much haggling probably was there? Not a lot. They were great to deal with. So. Um, We'd, we'd thrown some scenarios up to them and them to us. Um, and once it sort of got through those couple of early picks with Melbourne, um, we, it started to become real and we were ready to go. We'd been talking to GWS sort of three, four picks away. If this happens, Reedy had spoken to Jason yesterday and and, um, and this morning and credit to, to um, Jason Dover, the manager, helped us out a lot. Um, we knew that if it got to us, Dan was happy to come to Adelaide, the manager was happy for him to come to Adelaide, um, and it was a great fit, so it worked well. You can play a variety of positions. Mm, he can. I mean, people, forget, people forget how good a forward he was. You know, as a young player, um, he, he was a forward that's moved back, and obviously the midfield stuff's great. That's a, that's a fantastic bonus for his development that he's been able to play some midfield. So, um, look, we think he probably starts back. Um, his ball use as a tall is, is really, really high class. Um, it's clear we've had a couple of issues with injuries to our tall backs and, and he's played great senior footy already. I love the final, um, the Claremont Subiaco final. I love what he did and how the coach used him and threw him around. And um, look, he's a, he's a pretty well-rounded player. His ground ball's really good. Um, and that kick is rare for a player that tall. Uh, well, that'll be up to the coaches and Dan, but knowing the person is, I'm sure Dan's going to push hard to be as good as he can as early as he can. So no expectations, no limitations. Um, we love the fact that he's played the senior footy and they've done a great job with him, Claremont, so credit to them to get him ready. Um, and yeah, that's a big tick. You know, good quality senior footy, that final. Subiaco, Claremont, I was there. That was a red hot game. That was tough. That was as tough a waffle game as I've seen. He performed really well. So, um, yeah, he's as ready as most kids are. So we'll see what happens. But that's up to Dan and the coaches now. Can you take us to the selection of Oscar? A bit of a surprise in his face. It wasn't a. It wasn't a surprise to us. And and there was just the debate: could we go back a little bit and still get him? I didn't want the guys to take the risk. And any any chance that we might lose him because we sort of knew Brisbane and West Coast were pretty keen as well. So it wouldn't have been a shock to some clubs. He's just such a great person. And um, yeah, look, some of his footy is really exciting. We think he can probably move off half back and play a bit of wing in midfield as well in time. But just the shock and the, that's the great joy of the draft night is to see a kid like Oscar. His mum and dad will be so pleased. We had great meetings with him. We really, really enjoyed meeting them. And he is an A grade top class kid with some real, real good footy skills. So we're really pleased to get him in. Who knows, the sky's the limit for Oscar. Seems like he's the leader name in the game because Charlie Edwards as well. Yeah. Started back line, moved through midfield. The great, size, great yeah, size. He's, Charlie's sort of that taller mid we've sort of been looking for. I mean, Jordan Dawson's tall. People forget how tall he is and how good in the air Jordan is. But uh, it'll, it'll be great to have Charlie to come in and learn from those guys. Um, we think Charlie will get on great with Billy Dowling. They're very similar personalities. Um, and he wanted to come to Adelaide, so... Um, you know, he's a Bendigo kid off the farm, so he's already moved. Very mature, really smart kid. So um, yeah, he played three three parts of the ground really well. So started off at half back and did a great job, and then um, midfield and forward. Some of his short cameos in the forward line in the finals were really exciting. So at that size, 
and with his athletic ability, he gives us he gives us really good scope. And you, you want players that can play lots of spots. Just wanted to ask you after the draft tonight. You got Carl Gallagher joining the yeah. Ireland. Um, mm. Kind of cleans him in, and from the list perspective, you're assuming nothing's really changed after taking three picks in town. Yeah, so we'll have a look at Carl over the, the next sort of. He arrives on the 25th, so we'll have a look at Carl, and he'll have a look at us. I mean, he's been a pro already. I mean, he plays in a very good team in Ireland. He's the youngest player in the Monaghan senior team. So what we loved about him in 2019 was his athletic ability. Um, so, look, with the Cat B guys and the Irish guys, what you get is a bonus. So, you know, not many starters forwards, but he's played midfield full forward in Ireland. But we think he'd probably start half back and wing. Um, that those sorts of roles with this athletic ability. I'm really excited for Carl. He's a great lad. People are going to really enjoy meeting him. Our coaches are going to enjoy working with him. So I'm um, looking forward to getting him over at the end of the week. And a pretty quiet second night for you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done now. So um, we'll, we'll go to the rookie draft and hopefully bring our two boys back on. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.